when we are living a normal life, all our behaviors, our lifestyle, our thinking, and so on, they make us happy and sad. Today, I'm about to tell you about happiness. So, what should I do for getting happiness? Korean professor Che In Tar, who is my favorite, said, "If you want to be happy, go traveling." Why? The behaviors that makes you happy are walking, playing, talking, and eating. When we are eating, we are happy. When we are eating with talking, we are happier. When we are doing all of it, we are so happy. Traveling contains all: walking, playing, talking, and eating. But I can't go traveling because there's so many problems. It's okay. I understand it. There's so many problems. Yeah, I know. Let's think about it in one dimensional. What do we need for traveling? Time and money. And how can we get time for traveling? You have to calculate how many hours you are spending with SNS. And we are spending so much time for sleeping, watching a television. Even you are spending time right now in this moment. Don't get me wrong. If they make you happy, do it. Money? Come on. Don't drink a coffee. Don't go to expensive place. Don't buy things. Don't do anything that doesn't make you happy. Then you can save money. Let me tell you the easiest way for being happy. Open a note. Grab a pen. Write five moments that you felt happiness in your life. Read it again. You can feel the happiness. And find the happiest moment and do it. Just do it like that. That's it. Easy peasy, right? Here's another option. Don't buy things. Buy experience. We can feel happiness when we are talking our experience. If you buy a cloth, you're not gonna talk forever about that cloth. But we talk about traveling forever. Some travels can change your life, but some clothes cannot change your life. Some thinking can change your life, but some cars cannot change your life. Let's do it together.